story tonight here at 10 centers around Dak Prescott's legal activity. So a judge dismissing a sexual assault lawsuit against Dallas Co uh, Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, of course. But we want to show you how we got here. It's been a long road. Back in March, we told you that Prescott filed the lawsuit. He claimed a woman was trying to extort him for $100 million in what he calls hush money for something the quarterback says he did not do. The alleged victim then sued him back, asking for $1 million. But she claims she was forced to perform a sexual act in a parking lot of a strip club back in February 2017. Fast forward, Dallas police start an investigation into that alleged incident. Meantime, Prosper police investigated the accuser. The Collin County DA is now reviewing that case, but in May, Dallas police determined that there was simply not enough evidence in this case, and they closed that investigation. So tonight, we're looking forward to the civil case surrounding the woman's claims. It's losing a major battle in court as of today. Our Marvin Hurst with what we've learned and what comes next. For Dak Prescott, his image doesn't end on the turf of a football field, so he's fighting for it. Was this all made up? Yes, 100% it's a money grab. An attorney for the 30-year-old Dallas Cowboys quarterback says a former consensual sex partner accused Prescott of sexual assault. The alleged incident happened in a strip club parking lot in 2017. Prescott's attorney says his client was at the Super Bowl in Houston during that time. This is literally an example of what you should not do as a lawyer. It's the absolute worst thing you can do. There's a, a thing in uh, Texas law where you can't file a lawsuit for the purpose of harassment or embarrassment or just to go get money when you don't have a claim. And that's exactly what these people did. Levi McCathern says the woman's case fell apart and got dismissed in a Collin County court on Wednesday. All parties will return to that same court on September 13th to see what the judge decides next. He's absolutely ecstatic. He's very happy. And yet he was not as happy as you think because he always knew that he'd do nothing wrong. McCathern believes the alleged victim and her legal team may face trouble. If there is a monetary award in this case, Prescott is expected to donate that to charity. By the way, we did reach out to the victim and her legal team to try to get their side of the story. So far, no response. Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas. We're following up.